Hey girls, it's Amanda. I just wanted to do a quick video for you guys to show you how to remove your gel moment polish. So here we go. I'm only gonna do one finger because I don't have my other polishes in yet. I only have um, the colors that I'm wearing, so I'm just gonna put it back on till my other order comes in. But real quick, I just wanna tell you what I'm wearing. It doesn't even show on camera as beautiful as it is in person. It is sparkling like crazy. Um, so on this finger right here, I have Wisterian Grove, which is this one. Hopefully you can see that. Um, it looks like this. Sorry if it's upside down. <laughs> um, and then on this finger, my middle finger right here, I have Cupcakes and Heels, which looks like this. Oops, sorry about the reflection there. Um, these are the two colors that came in my enrollment kit. And on this finger right here, I have two layers of cupcakes and heels with one layer of the Wisteria Grove over top since it's kind of a sheer uh, buildable glitter. So I was able to just kind of glitter up my cupcakes and heels. And I kind of like the way all three of them look. So happy with all of it. So first, um, you're going to need your tools. This is our pusher that we have, um, a cuticle scraper, but I'm gonna use it for removing the gel polish. Um, I have, which came in my enrollment kit, I have the scented gel polish remover pads. These pads are kind of cool because um, you just tear it off here that I'll show you. And then there is a strip here that allows you to fold it. So I'm gonna show you that. And I also have my nail file in case I need that for any reason. So let me back it up here a little bit. Hopefully that helps. There we go. And we'll get started. First, I'm gonna tear this open. Let's see if I can get it ready for you. Yeah. Okay, so inside you'll see there's a pad right here. And what I want to do is I want to slide my finger in underneath the pad. There we go. So that it's kind of in there like that. Then you want to take up the sticky part here like that and fold it over. And this just kind of secures it on your finger a little bit. There we go. All right, so you wanna leave these on for about five minutes. And I will go ahead and let that sit and I will get back to you in about five minutes. Okay, I'm back. Um, it's been about five or six minutes that I've had it sitting, uh, had the remover sitting on my nail polish, so I'm going to pull it off. You'll look at it and notice it doesn't look any different. <laughs> but uh, we should be able to push the polish off using our scraper here. So here we go. Let's see. What you wanna do is kind of start at the edge and gently, very gently, you want to be pushing it off. You do not want to dig into your nail at all. You can, if you use too much pressure, you will end up digging down into your nail because this uh, is a very strong tool. But what you want to do is make sure you are just pushing the polish. So right here, I'm just pushing it right off like that. I'm not digging into my nail. It looks a little dry because I just had the remover on it. And there's still a little bit on my finger. There you go. I also had um, gel polish on my nails before a few weeks back. So uh, my nails are a little bit damaged up at the top, which has made them a bit weaker. Sorry, I'm just being like really thorough here and scraping. But you can see it easily just kind of rolls off just like that. Okay. 
If you find that you've taken your polish remover pad off and it's not coming off this easy, put it back on. Don't, uh, don't dig into your nails and try to really scrape it off because it just needs a few more minutes to really penetrate. Okay. So I am just using really straw, soft strokes. Just like this. You'll see I've gotten most of the polish off at this point. You can also flip it over. There's another side here, right here. Where you can kind of get into the corners a little bit better. And there you go. Now the nail is almost entirely done. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to go off camera. I am going to buff it real quick. Again, totally went off camera, apologize for that. Just to see if I can get the last little bits that are on here off. All right, let me back up because I think you're having a hard time seeing. There we go. So um, this is the gel moments file and this is the buffing side. So I am, there we go. So I have the majority of it off. I could spend another minute or two really kind of cleaning it up uh, perfectly, but that should give you an idea. It's probably taken me hmm, a minute, maybe two minutes to get my polish off my nails and you'll see it's all right here. It's all just rolled right off. The next thing I do after I get my polish off, you'll see it's all scraped off here, is I just get one of our nail cleansers because a lot of times uh, the nail underneath just needs a good cleaning. And then you will see, that's it. All right, here we go. That is my nail after removing my gel polish. There's still, oh, a little piece of hair. Um, there's still an area or two that I could uh, go back and touch up a little bit that got under my nail. Um, and you can see here where I had my original gel polish manicure. Wow, I need some cuticle oil. Look at that. Whoa. Um, <laughs> Uh, my original gel manicure is growing out right here that I got done at the salon. You can see where it's damaged. And this is down here is where I've had my gel moments. Probably about halfway down my nail um, is where it's really grown out. Or about, uh, there's about maybe a quarter left that's really grown out from where I had my original salon manicure. But the rest of this I had covered with gel moments. And you can see that the nail looks pretty healthy. So I'm going to finish cleaning it up and get ready to reapply my polish.